Evening all, hope you're well. Well, I've been smoking this um, new pipe for a good while now, probably over an hour. And um, whilst I can't talk about its uh, smokeability over long term, obviously, I just thought I'd give you a little tour of this pipe and I would like to pay homage to the creator, to the carver. Um, <clears throat> And I feel like I want to do it simply because I haven't paid for it. When you pay for a pipe, you um, you expect a certain standard, um, a certain uh, level of uh, uh, effectiveness, if you like. And um, you end up either being happy or not being happy. But when you get gifted a pipe, even though it was in a trade, but essentially, Matt has made this pipe, he's put his heart and soul into it, he's put his creativity into it, he's put his creative mind and soul into it, and I think it deserves um, to be acknowledged and um, publicised. Matt, um, by his own word, he's at the beginning of his, of his uh, trade, um, and to create a pipe like this so early on, um, is is quite mind-blowing really I'm not going to say that this pipe is absolutely flawless um, but it is fantastic it's, it's an amazing pipe given the level of experience that Matt has got so far so I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour around this pipe and uh, see if you agree So I'm down at the bottom of the pipe, there's still a bit there, smoking 2016, Christmas cheer. First of all, let's look at the shape. Um, I think you'd call this a bit of a mad hatter, um, just the way it's essentially starting off in its simplest form as a poker, um, but it slants off and the curve is just very very well executed there's no deviations it's really very 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 well done um, all the way around um, then you've got this top edge now this little chamfering of the inner edge of the top rim is very reminiscent of Moretti pipes he does that to all his pipes um, where's mine have a look at the top edge of that one it's very very similar you can see the that inner okay on the Moretti one it, it's more uh, more of a gradient there it's more subtle as it uh, curves in towards the bowl to the, towards the tobacco chamber um, bear in mind of course that Moretti has been carving pipes probably for 20 or 30 years um, and whereas Matt has been doing it for about a year, if that. Um, and a lot of that time he hasn't been carving, he's been doing other things. Um, so, he's got some nice contrast on the grain. I think that you'd be tempted to try and make the whole central, and in actual fact, because of the shape of the bowl, that would have been the wrong thing to do. Um, these lines here, the way it's thinner over here and then it slowly, slowly expands and that line, those lines follow on onto the stem. So you've got this bulbous section here and then it thins back down out again to the bit and the same over there. So if you take away the bowl and just look at that there, you can see the thought behind this shape, that there's certain symmetry to it. I like this insert. I'm not going to break the pipe down now because it's warm, um, but that is a very nice touch. It just brightens everything up. It's a contrast to all the kind of darker contrast shades. I, I think it just really sets it off very, very nicely. Um,
on a lot of bent pipes I do find that the, uh, the when this where it comes up here is often twisted a little bit um, but this one's pretty good it's pretty bang on maybe a slight camber to it maybe let me see what which ones we can look at uh, if you have a look at that one that's holding it straight and you can see there's a slight twist there and it's pointing this way very very slightly and that's an escorty doesn't hamper the smoke at all this is a phenomenal smoke of the escorty now the bit the bit on this pipe is just outrageously comfortable you know you might think that the bit is a, quite a straightforward implementation but you see virtually every single carver has a slightly different take on shaping the bit and um, I've got to say that this is one of the most comfortable bits that I've experienced to date um, a lot of the pipes that I've got a lot of the, these pipes, each of the bits have their own kind of um, pros and cons so for instance the Escorty it's got a very very sort of slight bit it's a very small um, that the bit there this little bit here the bit where it's raised is very slight and I find this to be an extremely comfortable bit as well but perfect for when you're just chilling back sitting back it's also a very slender it comes to a very thin Point. and it's extremely comfortable and it really as I've mentioned on a video previously as soon as I put that pipe in my mouth it just slows me right down and it really allows me to just relax um, if you take for instance the Northern Briars this one the bit is quite a chunky bit that's quite sizable and the the height of the bit is quite uh, the, the, the bit that you Put behind your teeth it's quite high and I find that sometimes a little bit of a mouthful um, and this one it's quite the edges are not so sharp um, and some well, we're not focusing very well here maybe I'm a little bit too near there's too much going on in the background there we go it's just really the edges are not as sharp it's quite rounded and it just really even though it's got quite a bit of depth from there to there it's still extremely comfortable and it sits very very well behind the teeth and um, it's a very very comfortable clencher I know I'm kind of waxing lyrical about this pipe, but it's, um, I don't usually review pipes. I don't usually talk about my pipes. Maybe I should, um, but um, it's just that because this one's been made for me and I haven't paid for it, I feel an obligation to really highlight it. I've never really thought about it, to be honest. Um, and I've never really thought about um, doing impressions about my pipes. Don't know, maybe I should. But anyway, it's the first time I've really thought I really felt that I wanted to do it. This section here is notoriously a very difficult um, intersection between the stem and the bowl. It's very difficult to sand and to get it really looking the way you want it. And he's done an amazing job. It's such a fantastic um, transition from the stem to the bowl. He's done it very, very well. It's very symmetrical. extremely smoothly done you often see some pipes where one side is slightly different to the other side but this one he's done perfectly he's got it spot on so Matt um, this is really just homage to your uh, or homage to your skills um, you've clearly got um, got the knack for it um, I can I can sort of make a couple of pointers and things like that but I'm not going to because I think you've done an amazing job and uh, 
I'm super impressed with this pipe. Um, I should really, I'm not sure where you uh, advertise your pipes or where you put them or if you've got a website, but uh, if you want to send me your details, I'll certainly um, add them to this video so people can see where they can contact you um, for some pipes. Everybody, I hope you uh, share my uh, impressions of this pipe and being impressed with this pipe. And um, if you're in the market for a new pipe, I don't know what uh, Matt charges for his pipes, but perhaps they'll be competitive given that he's uh, a recent uh, addition to the carving world. So um, hopefully I'll get some information and be able to add it to the video down below. We shall see what happens. Thanks very much for watching and catch you on the next one.